Now, much more work is needed to protect all parts of the UK from the impact of climate change. A new assessment of the risks concludes that even current levels of global warming will cost the country billions of pounds every year within a few decades. And the report warns that while the world aims to limit warming to 1.5 degrees, the evidence shows that rises of up to 4 degrees by the end of the century certainly can't be ruled out. Our climate editor Justin Rowlatt spells out the potential implications. Remember Arwen? You can barely stand up. The monster storm that ripped down trees and pylons across much of the north of the UK in November. More than 200,000 homes were left without power. And we've had to sleep with all the clothes on because it's been so cold in, in the bedrooms. Be warned, the government says today, we can expect more extreme weather as our world continues to warm and we aren't prepared. We're already seeing more severe extreme weather of many types. Uh, this is having an impact and we're not ready for the climate change that's already happening, let alone the climate change which is on the way. UK temperatures won't necessarily rise in line with the global average. This is now. We already sometimes get temperatures two degrees above average in the south of England. That'll be more like three degrees if average global temperatures rise by two degrees centigrade. But we should also be prepared for this, says this latest assessment of the risks of climate change. It's unlikely, but if global temperatures were to rise by four degrees, maximum summer temperatures in the south could be as much as seven degrees hotter, with the north up to six degrees hotter. The risks cut right across society, say ministers. Infrastructure, roads, sewage systems, power stations will struggle as storms, droughts, floods and heat waves become more frequent and more intense. Our health and productivity will suffer. Farms will struggle to produce as much food and at the same time the supply of goods from abroad is likely to be disrupted. Yeah. To meet these challenges, the government needs to take action right away, say its independent advisers on climate change. We really have got to start thinking about adaptation in everything we do. We've really got to start taking seriously the fact that our climate is changing and we are going to see quite significant changes over the next 30 years. The good news is that today's report finds investing in protecting the country from climate change is good value, with every pound delivering up to 10 times that in economic benefits. But we all need to begin to make these investments now if we're going to be ready for the coming storms. Justin Rowlatt, BBC News.